News tonight as police are investigating a violent stabbing death in Shakopee. Fox News Paul Bloom joins us live from Shakopee. Paul, this took place in what is normally a quiet residential neighborhood. And Randy Kelsey, it took place hours ago in broad daylight, and yet it remains taped off very much an active crime scene tonight. And you mentioned quiet residential neighborhood of Shakopee. We're just blocks from downtown. In fact, where we stand, we've been listening into the music of the Wednesday night summer concert series, Rhythm on the Rails here. People are parking nearby. They're walking home. I see a gentleman with a cooler heading back to his car. I'm speaking to neighbors today. They are absolutely disgusted and alarmed by what unfolded here earlier this afternoon. Can't even... I have no words for it. There, it's, yeah, it's scary. Folks living in this residential neighborhood, just blocks from downtown Shakopee, shaken by a horrifying mid-afternoon attack that left a woman dead in the street. Emergency responders and eventually crime scene investigators descending on the scene around 2.30 p.m. The black tenting here marking the spot. A male suspect initially fled on foot, but he was captured soon after, about a mile and a half away. Authorities combing several locations looking for evidence. Sources telling Fox 9 that a knife was used in the deadly assault. Yeah, it's scary. It's too close to home, I feel like. For hours, several blocks around the murder scene were taped off. Traffic rolling by as neighbors processed a violent attack that authorities said was witnessed by some living here. From Sky Fox 9 above, you can see the home right across the street with a stone peace garden. That we're told is a staple at this intersection of 4th Avenue and Spencer Street. The Bureau of Criminal Apprehension helping Shakopee police piece together what happened. A drone assisting in the ongoing probe. Sources telling us tonight the male suspect and the female victim were in some type of relationship and knew each other. The man in custody with a long criminal history known to local authorities. Tonight, Jessica Sandro's heart is broken. I just feel very sorry for the families. As for the nature of the relationship between the male suspect and the female victim here, police would not elaborate, nor would they publicly identify the two involved. Obviously, tonight, with all the flashing lights still going, this investigation very much ongoing. We're live just outside of downtown Shakopee tonight. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.